Dennis McDonald here at Yale Appliance, and we're going to go through today and listen to Jessica give us a great overview from some of the hot, uh, hot products at KBiz this year for GE Cafe, and can't wait to see what she has in store. Let's take a look and give our reaction. Hi there, and welcome to our Cabana Club Couture Kitchen here in the cafe booth at KBiz. So as you can see, we kind of have a beachy feel going on here, and our creative director, TK Wismer, pulled our inspiration from the resort wear runway at New York Fashion Week this fall. So as you can see, um, we have our beautiful matte white with brushed brass finish appliances here in the booth. So I want to show you guys just a couple uh, to show off. So first you'll find here our four door refrigerator. As you can see, there's no water dispenser on the outside. So you're getting a really beautiful, almost integrated look that people love. It blends right into the cabinets. So I wanna call this one out specifically because this is coming soon. We have our autofill pitcher inside the door. So you can see here, this blends in perfectly with the interior of the refrigerator. We have our uh, copper accents that match as well. And so this is gonna fill up automatically when it's in the fridge, then you're able to take it out. So let's talk about this for a minute. That filter, really cool. I will tell you, uh, if you're filling up a Keurig in the morning, you want to fill up lemonade in the summer, you want to just put some fruit in there and have like a nice refreshing summer drink, it has a spigot. I don't love the spigot because you really have to rest the doors open and wait for that water to pour out. But certainly you can remove it and go right on the counter or into a Keurig or something like that. So really, really kind of cool feature. I'm with it. I just don't know that I love it in the fridge to be used with that spigot inside the fridge. Not the most efficient way to do things. Out, pour, fill cups, place it on the table, anything that works for your family. So inside you can also see our stunning light wall. This is a showstopper. And make sure that you never lose anything in the back of the refrigerator. Now let's stop there because the light wall is amazing. Lighting is so important in a fridge because so much gets buried in the back. So I think they've done a fantastic job here with the light wall. It's kind of an industry first. There's no one else really with it. And um, they've done this in some of, they'll be doing this in some of their under counter units, but also as much in some of their uh, main, main refrigeration line and more and more to come. Really well done. Refrigerator. And then of course, we also have to mention our convertible drawer here as well. So here you'll have five different options between soft freeze, meat, beverages, snacks, and wine. So again, an opportunity for a homeowner to really customize the refrigerator for their specific needs. So as we walk this way, I wanna show you guys our cafe double dishwasher drawer. So this is a brand new platform to GE Appliances and we're so excited to launch it here in the cafe lineup. So when you think about this product, I want you to think about customizing your clean. So you can customize in cafe with the finish, with the handle hardware. And so here you really get to customize how you wanna load the dishwasher. So you can run each drawer individually or together and there's a ton of loading flexibility inside as well with fold down tines, a removable silverware basket, folding cup shelves, and places to load even items like stemware. So, so she said it, you know, you can run two loads at one time or separately. Many times I know in my family, like kids haven't unloaded the, the dishwasher, it drives me nuts. Well, this way you generally always have one working clean or in wash and another one that you can still load. So I kind of like the flexibility. As well, I think three out of five Americans have bad backs. So less bending seems to make sense. I like it. So you can run these together or separately to get a really great wash that you always have a place to put those dirty dishes so you don't have to leave them on the counter. Hi there, and welcome to our Black Tie Affair Cafe Kitchen. Now, I didn't love the Hawaiian resort theme kitchen, but this is kind of cool. Um, again, may not be able to pull it off, but, but someone could, and it would be pretty. Pretty hot in the house. In here in the cafe booth at KBiz. So as you can see here, this kitchen has a lot of beautiful colors and textures, a lot of beautiful prints. So leaning really heavy into a maximalist vibe that gets its inspiration from the evening wear collections at New York Fashion Week. So our creative director, TK Wismer, has done an incredible job bringing this vision to life, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So here you'll see our matte black appliances with our flat black handles. So we know that flat black is so hot right now in the marketplace, and you can see that everywhere from bathroom fixtures to kitchen fixtures. And you'll see in this kitchen too that we also have flat black hardware in our sink and also on our drawer pulls. So, so let's stop there. Flat black, just to know, because what's still lingering out there in the background but really doesn't have a place was black stainless. It was a fad. Everyone said it was going to be the next great thing, and it really wasn't. It scratched easily, and it, it didn't show so well over time. But flat black's a whole different animal. 
And I think just like they've done here, if you see it in person, it's really nice. It's kind of somewhat, it doesn't, it's not quite black. It's not quite stainless, but it just definitely sets a mood and gives a more warped vibe to the, to the space. So I think this has real legs, particularly with the fit and finish on the handles. They've done a, they've done a really good job. And, and I don't think they're alone in seeing a continued trend in this flat black. We certainly see it in kitchen hardware. So Jessica's nailing this one. So a way to really pull that all together for a really beautiful and cohesive kitchen. So when we think about product, I wanna show you guys our 48 inch commercial style range. So this is a beautiful range, perfect for those home cooks that want to really make a big statement in the kitchen with a pro kind of feel, but also ways to really enhance their cooking. So perfect for entertaining and also everyday use. So you can see here, we have our everyday oven on the left-hand side. It's gonna preheat a whole lot now, I don't think she's gonna, I don't know that she points this out, but I will say this, see those racks? Really kind of cool in there, they're self-cleaning. So that's the only rack in the industry that when you generally self-clean your oven, you have to take all the racks out. In GE here, you don't have to. You actually leave it in and it helps bake all that dirt and grime that are on your racks off. So it really makes cleaning easy quicker and perfect for everyday cooking. And then next to it, you'll see here our full-size caterer's oven. So being able to fit a full catering tray, it makes entertaining super. Now I will stop here. One thing they could improve for sure. See this broiler that you see up here? It's what's called an eight pass broiler and it's definitely low. Some of the higher end pro ranges, even within their own line, will have it sunk up into the top where it'll be an infrared broiler. But you know, uh, for everything else and for the overall package and price, I think it's still good value. But just to know that that's something to look for in a lot of the better ovens would not have it exposed and hung down there. Super easy. On the stove top, I want to point out just a couple pieces here. So you can see on the top, we have our tri-ring burner. So you can use that as just the little in the middle to simmer. You can bring it all the way out to power boil. Now we, we rip past that feature she just said, that dual stack burner where it's a smaller burner in the middle. So when this is on high, I understand this flame coming from the middle small ring as well the outer ring. Great for boiling, say, if you've ever made spaghetti sauce, you need to bring it to a boil. But then you have that big stock pot. And now in a lot of stoves, you have to put it to the back burner or move that big heavy pot somewhere. You risk spilling it and just it's a lot of work. But this one here, you can go from your highest of highs to your lowest of lows, and then the flame will just come out of that small center piece. So really kind of functional if you think about it. As well, a lot of people aren't that tall. And if you're trying to stir on a stock pot, a lot of times you're up on your tippy toes anyways. And if you had to push that far to the back, it makes it that much more impossible to see what's actually going on in the pot. So really kind of cool that it's up front. Makes a lot of sense. So a ton of flexibility here. And then I also have to mention our Inspiral Burner. So while this was intentionally designed for wok cooking where you need really concentrated heat at the base of that pan, this Inspiral Burner is a really efficient way to cook because those flames come up from the middle of the burner instead of losing all of that heat out the sides. Now, one other thing I will say, LCD display, you can see them here, really, really small. Functional and they work, but I think, I think you should consider how that's going to work for you in a kitchen. Um, if you're the type that's really up close to your cooking, great. If you entertain a lot, those are really small and from a distance could be really hard to see what's going on in there. Not the end of the world, there's solutions, wireless temperature probes, things like that, but just something to think about. Maybe an improvement down the road. We'll send them a note. So you can see here, in addition to the flat black handles, this range also has those flat black knobs. So a way to really pull together an incredibly cohesive look that makes a big kitchen statement. And that's it. I think Jessica, she did a great job. And I think there's a lot to be excited about there. Um, certainly, as you look at Monogram that we had another outtake on or reaction video to earlier in the week, and then you look at it, this one here with Cafe, I think it's easy to see they're really pushing the industry with some innovation. And we had some some opinions here and there, but overall, a really well done job by, by the folks over at GE and at Monogram.